today. It's the first Saturday of May, and that means one thing. Happy Good, free comic fun. book day! <laughs> Many come to gather at Galaxy of Comics in Van Nuys, California. Eric Master describes the uniqueness of Galaxy of Comics. This place, different from other comic shops, it has the old school feel. In other words, you can come in and you can talk about comics here. Uh, a lot of the newer shops, it's just uh, in and out. It's more of a retail place. This has the old school almost uh, uh, bar or pub atmosphere where you can chit chat about things. Yeah. 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 Action Comics had the first release in June 1938, where the first superhero appeared, Superman. Since then, comic books have been very popular among pop culture. Local comic shops like Galaxy of Comics have stayed in business because of the loyal fans. Warren's not too bad of a person, although he tries. It's one of the best shops in the entire valley, really. Since 2009, Galaxy of Comics has been owned and operated by Warren J. Cox. Warren's career took a big turn when he met Bill Lebowitz, who hired him to manage one of his stores. I, I, I was working for Barnes & Noble, I went, to Com I went to San Diego Comic Con one year, and a small, um, a small chain of comic book stores, um, the, the owner of this small chain of comic book stores, literally hired me on the spot for one of the stores because he needed a manager. And that's how I started in comics. You know, I mean, I was already obviously reading comics, I've been reading comics since I was a little kid. But that's how I got involved in running comic book stores. And honestly, it's just it's a simple jump from you know from running a comic shop, comic shop to you know starting a comic book store yourself. So customers of all age come to this store frequently, even if they don't read comics. We have a lot of residential. We're kind of right in the middle of the of of, of the San Fernando Valley. We've got so much residential around us that we get we get families who come in. We get you know we get kids. We get adults. We get and you know half the time it's like just people who've never really ever been into a comic book store before. But funny enough, no kind of all about comics, you know what I mean? Whether it's because of the movies or because of the video games or whatever, they kind of know all kinds of stuff. That's why it's nice being close to a college too, because we actually do get a lot of, you know, 20-somethings, even teen, even late teens, who come in and they know all about this stuff, but it's only because they watched it in the cartoons or that whatever, you know? I mean, they know all about comics, even if they've never picked up a physical comic before, before in their life. This is becoming a thing. <laughs> Galaxy of Comics. Although many believe that the comic book industry is dying, Warren argues that it is in the same state it was years ago, and it is here to stay. We are we are definitely competing against a lot of other forms of entertainment, but that said, this 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 medium's never going away. I don't think I don't think this is ever going away. Um, you know, there's there's something about the physical, tangible aspect of not to mention the fact that you know we've got people who, who who buy comics with the idea of you know 20 years from now these are really going to be worth something which may or may not be true uh, is there any last words you'd like to say about galaxy comics uh no just show up it's it's a great store just come we're uh, 17306 satakoy street in van nuys um and yeah we're awesome <laughs> yeah